Hello beautiful! This week I'm sharing how I painted my kitchen cabinets. My name is Zakia and each week I share decor, DIYs, and tips for living your most beautiful life. A couple of years ago my husband and I remodeled our kitchen and we installed oak cabinets. I custom mixed the stain myself with a gray base and I decided to go with a matte finish in order to be a little bit more modern. Unfortunately the matte finish wasn't sufficient for a heavily working kitchen. We ended up with oil stains on the wood and it was only getting worse and worse by the day and this is the main reason that I decided to go ahead and paint my kitchen cabinets. Painting cabinets isn't hard, but you must follow a very specific set of steps in order to achieve the most beautiful, most durable, and lasting finish. I started by removing all of the cabinet hardware and placing it into Ziploc bags. I cleaned the cabinet doors in place and I used a product called Simple Green. This product is extremely concentrated, so you will have to dilute it with water according to the instructions on the bottle and follow the instructions very carefully to clean your cabinets. Once everything was clean, I started to take down the cabinet doors and when I did this, I wanted to label all the doors and where they belonged simply by writing numbers on painter's tape and I kept the corresponding hinge for each door in a ziplock labeled with the same number. Next, I sanded the cabinet frame and all of the cabinets and drawer fronts with a 150 grit sandpaper. And you can see here how it has scuffed up the surface of the cabinet frame. Wipe away all of the sanding dust with a lightly dampened cloth and let that dry before you move on to the next step, which is priming. We used painter's paper roll to protect the floors and we also taped off any area that we didn't want paint on. I have painted furniture and cabinets before and this primer from Sherwin-Williams is hands down the best primer for any item that already has an existing top coat or shiny finish on it. I know that it can seem a little pricey, but if you're gonna go through the trouble of painting your cabinets, you should use something that is quality and something that is gonna give you a long lasting finish. This is what the first coat of primer looks like on the cabinet doors. And if you can see, I put paper plates underneath those doors just to elevate the cabinet doors to make them easier to paint. I used an angle brush for all of those inside corners and I used a small 4 inch roller to roll the paint on all of the rest of the surfaces. I did two coats of primer letting the primer dry for a couple of hours in between each coat. And then you want to sand the primer very lightly with a 220 grit sandpaper until it feels smooth to the touch. After you wipe off the residue, you can begin painting with your paint. And here again, I went with a Sherwin-Williams paint. It's their Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel. This paint is absolutely amazing. It is the best paint that I've ever worked with for painting furniture or cabinets or trim or anything like that. When it cures properly, it dries down to a hard, strong finish. If you use regular house paint, you will get a sticky, soft, gummy finish on your cabinets and the paint may stick to itself and even pull off. This paint is pricey, but it is worth every penny because you will spare yourself a lot of headache and you won't need to cover it with a clear coat finish or anything like that once you're done with it. And I was able to paint all of the cabinets in my kitchen with plenty left over using just one gallon. At some point in the painting process, I realized that propping the cabinet doors up higher would be a lot easier when it came to painting them. So I sat the doors on top of paper cups. 
I did a total of three coats, sanding in between each coat, letting them dry for four hours between each coat. This brings us to the next crucial step that a lot of people don't quite understand or overlook completely, and that is the curing process. This paint needs to cure fully for 30 days before it can be wiped with water. A paint is fully cured when it reaches its full hardness. It was very difficult, but we waited at least a week before even handling the cabinet doors or any of the other painted surfaces. After seven days, we did go ahead and rehang the doors. For the rest of the 30 days, I just handled everything very lightly, but ideally, it would be best to not handle them at all, but I know that's not necessarily realistic for most people. Once you rehang your cabinet doors and allow them to cure for the allotted time, you can feel free to enjoy your kitchen and your beautiful new painted cabinets.